When you are building up a digital company from scratch, where do you actually start? While there are many, many uh, channels from physical to digital channels that you can use to actually grow your company, in reality, there is a very simple framework that we can use to, could, to get us started, uh, uh, that we can use as a shortcut. And this is really the growth uh, engines, which is a sort of framework that has been put together when it comes to the Lean Startup by Eric Ries, so that we can use to actually improve the, 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 the growth of the startup over time. So according to this framework, very simple framework, we have two main engines of growth. The first one is really the paid engine, where really you acquire uh, users or customers through paid acquisitions channels. And in this case, you want to look at things like the customer lifetime value so that you can understand what's the, uh, you know, a cost uh, per acquisition that you can employ. So imagine the case that you have you are running a startup that actually as uh, you know uh, runs a subscription business where your subscription is worth a thousand dollars per year but you know that over time if a user gets in it's going to stay a few years with the company this means that for instance the value the customer lifetime value of your user may be anywhere between like five thousand and ten thousand dollars therefore if you're using uh, if you're actually using a paid uh, strategy uh, you don't want to go uh, just or you don't want to invest just let's say a thousand dollars in this case which is the value of a, of a user in one year you want to invest more because that user over time is going to bring you way more so you want to be a little bit more aggressive upfront but you want to bring more users and let's remember that this is a scenario where uh, you can do that if you have venture capital invested instead if you are a bootstrap company you want to use the the opposite approach you don't want to uh, really use a paid engine where you spend more of uh, what you get from a customer in the first first year you will be much more conservative but instead assuming you are using uh, venture capital money uh, investors that are baking your company that are putting money into your start startup they want to see a fast growth so uh, growth so they're fine with you spending more money in acquiring customers as long as the, as you know uh, what's the the lifetime value so again if the lifetime value of your users is ten thousand dollars and you're spending just five hundred dollars to acquire them you being inefficient according to the venture capital that is giving you money so you want to be faster in acquiring those those customers and users another really uh, engine of growth is the the, the viral engine <laughs> the viral engine of course is the the uh, everything that you can do to bring in uh, as many people as possible on board with the, with the free uh, campaigns that you can do for instance on on platforms like Twitter or like for instance uh, on social media and here it's very important to understand the the viral coefficient so what's the uh, ability of the content that you're putting out there to spread out and when you're thinking of the, the, the viral engine you want to think more in terms of bets so it's very hard to manufacture something that goes viral uh, instead you already have a large distribution and digital distribution therefore what you want to do you want to place as many bets or small bets as possible on your uh, communication campaign so that if one goes viral that is going to pay off way way uh, um, you know much more than the others that didn't pay off so sort of uh, like also uh, venture capital uh, people would do with their investment and then there is a third element which is probably also one of the most important of the three which is the sticky engine so when you're bringing in users uh, to to um, you know uh, user product you want to make sure that your product is good enough to actually lower up the customer acquisition rate to uh, reduce the churn rate and increase the customer retention rate because imagine the case in which you're acquiring uh, paid users or you're also using viral campaigns to bring a lot of users inside inside your your product but then they are leaving because they don't like or at least the product may also be interesting initially but then is not intuitive enough for them to stick around and therefore if you're not creating a sticky experience you're losing a lot of customers but also you are 
inefficiently using the other two engines of growth so those two will not work if this one is not working so you better work first on the sticky engine and then after you put in motion the other two otherwise uh, you risk to actually uh, be inefficient but also create uh, bad branding uh, on the on the market and if people get acquainted to the idea that your product is not good because it's not sneaky enough it may get very very hard to to launch a successful product over time